Welcome back to our channel, where we explore mysterious legends and creatures worldwide. Today, we delve into the intriguing tale of Sheepsquatch, a legendary creature said to roam the Appalachian region of the United States. Sheepsquatch is a woolly-haired cryptid reported across multiple counties in West Virginia, most of which are in the state's southwestern portion. It is also known by the name White Thing, Boone, Kanaha, Putnam, and Mason are the counties that have reported the most sightings, with a significant increase in the number of sightings reported in Boone County towards the middle of the 1990s. It is said to have utterly white fur that resembles wool and to have the size of a quadruped about equivalent to that of a bear. Its skull is long and pointed, like that of a dog, but its teeth are long and saber-like, and it has a single pair of horns that are not dissimilar to those found on young goats. Its body is comparable to that of a dog. Its forelimbs terminate in paw-like hands, comparable to those of a raccoon but considerably more significant, and its tail is long and hairless, similar to that of an opossum. Folklore has it that the beast was born in the TNT area in Mason County, similar to one of the Mothman theories. However, this is highly improbable, and it is more likely that the beast has a musk scent gland, similar to those found in many species belonging to carnivora, such as weasels and skunks. A former Navy sailor saw the beast emerge from the woods in 1994. The white creature pushed through the bushes and crouched to drink from the creek. After drinking for a few minutes, it crossed the nearby creek and headed towards the road. The witness saw the animal before it went into the brush. Two Boone County kids saw the beast while playing in their backyard that year. They saw a gigantic white bear that stood on its hind legs and was nearly six feet tall like a bear watching. The youngsters startled the beast and fled into the forest, tearing branches off medium-sized trees. After a year, the monster appeared behind a vehicle. A couple driving through Boone County saw a vast white beast in the ditch. Like many inquisitive observers, they pulled over to examine it. They described the creature again, adding four eyes. This sheep squatch leaped out of the ditch and attacked the automobile, unlike the last one when it fled. The couple ran in a panic, and when they got home, they discovered that their vehicle had significant marks on the side where the animal had attacked it. Another event in 1999 featured two campers sitting around a fire in the middle of the night when they were in the woods in Boone County. They eventually heard an animal snorting and scuffling around the camp like an agitated bear. But it did not immediately come into the light of the campfire. Sheep Squatch emerged from the shadows and immediately made a beeline straight for the campers. They swiftly reacted by jumping up and running back inside their house, all the while being pursued by the Sheep Squatch. It is a natural behavior of a predator to give chase when a creature runs. Its initial attack could have simply been a mimic charge. When they entered the forest, the white object stopped and let out a terrible scream as soon as it reached the forest's edge. After that, it made a U-turn and ran back into the forest. The following morning, when the campers returned to their site and the trail home, they saw that it had been damaged. They referred to the state of the trail as as if someone had tilled it up for gardening. A further sighting of the beast in the woods of Appalachia was reported near Folks Run, located in Virginia. Six campers who were spending the night in the thick woods made the discovery close to midnight when they saw the creature. It was said that the beast stood between eight and nine feet tall and had a shoulder length of between four and five feet. The camper who saw the beast first reported that it was crouching at the top of the nearby hill. After that, it rose, and he warned the other camping people and continued racing down the steep hill toward the campers. But the river flowed through the area, separating them. They watched in horrified anticipation as they looked for a method to get across, but were left with no choice and started wading through the water. When it emerged from the water, the campers said it resembled a bipedal dog in the chest area, and its fur was damp from having crossed the river. Then, a piercing scream with a bass in the gut could be heard approximately two kilometers away from where they were. The campers watched in horror as the sheep squatch let out a pitiful whine before sprinting away from the source of the commotion in the other direction of the noise. The sheep squatch looked up in surprise, just high enough that the moonlight was in its face. The campers hastily packed up their belongings and departed the area before reporting what had happened to the locals out of fear that they would be humiliated if the authorities were told. As of March 2016, the identities of the campers are unknown. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey. 
Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious.